here is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Hello, guys. Glad to meet you. Do you know who I am? I'm part of an army that's everywhere. What? You don't see us around you? Aha! We're very, very, very tiny. You can't see us with open eyes. You can only see us under a microscope. But we're everywhere. On the doorknob, on the table, on your skin, everywhere. We're also called microbes, as we can only be seen under a microscope. And some people call us germs, too. Germs, yes, germs. We can cause many diseases. Hey, stop! Don't run away! If you want to avoid us, first understand us. The more you understand us, the more healthy you can be. Good. First, let me show you my body. <laughs> I'm a little complex, but let me tell you in a very simple way. My outer shell is called a capsid. It is a protective protein coat. Inside, there is nucleic acid. It can be RNA or DNA. Confused? Okay, let me be more simple. I have an outer coat and some material inside called nucleic acid. How do I make a person sick? Ah, uh, let me tell you a secret. When we enter the human or animal bodies, I make copies of myself. That means I multiply myself. Let me show you how I do it. A virus like me can enter your body through your nose, mouth, or from broken skin. After that, we enter your body cells, we remove our coat, then our nucleic acid gets mixed up with human body cell manufacturing factories. And then we do our dirty magic. Your body cell then starts making copies of us. Yes, human body cells start producing viruses. These viruses then start attacking other human body cells. And that is how a virus makes you sick. Ha <laughs> ha! Scared again? Don't worry, we can't make you sick every time we enter your body. Your immune system has white blood cells. They're like police for guarding your body against us. Once they find or see us, they whistle and they name us antigens. Then they send antibodies to kill us. Sometimes you get a fever. Your body temperature goes up and viruses are killed due to high temperature. So a fever can protect you from viruses. Yes, you can also get vaccinated. Vaccines produce a lot of antibodies in your body. And when we enter your body, these antibodies help your immune system to kill us. And yes, you can avoid us. You should always wash your hands. You should cover any wound with a bandage. And you should not shake hands with somebody who is already sick. Hi guys, I'm a bacteria. You find us everywhere. We help you a lot. The yogurt that you eat, we help you to make it. The nitrogen is fixed in the soil by us. We're also in your digestive system. We help in digesting the food. We are very tiny. Like viruses, we are also called microbes as we are too small and most of us can only be seen under a microscope. Few people also call us germs, but that is wrong. We are so helpful, we should not be called germs. Yes, a few of us are bad, but most of us are good for humans. Let me tell you a very strange thing about us. Strange, yes. You know, we also have a target in life. We just want to double. We keep doubling, doubling, and doubling. This way, we keep increasing. Now, a few of us are really bad for you. Bad bacteria are called pathogens. They cause a lot of diseases. Pathogens can cause pneumonia, tuberculosis, cholera, plague, rickets, and more. Bacteria can enter your body through your nose, mouth, or from broken skin. Ha <laughs> ha! Scared? Don't worry. We can't make you sick every time we enter your body. Your immune system has white blood cells. They are police for guarding your body against us. Once they find or see a bad bacteria, they whistle and they name us antigens. Then they send antibodies to kill us. Sometimes you get a fever. Your body temperature goes up and enemy bacteria are killed due to high temperature. So fever protects you from bacterial infections. Yes, you can also get vaccinated. Vaccines produce lots of antibodies in your body. And when they enter your body, these antibodies help your immune system to kill bad bacteria. You can also take antibiotics in capsules. They kill the enemy bacteria. And yes, you can avoid us. 
You should keep washing your hands. You should cover the wound with a bandage, and you should not shake hands with somebody who is already sick. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <clears throat> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.